Hello guys. All right. It is Monday, April 10th, 2023 at 8:08 p.m. All right, let's start with Bible verse from dailyverses.net verse of the day. It says, "I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have so that no one will take your crown." Revelation 3:11. All right, guys. Let's start with my community tab on Space River News. All right, so we have a couple of things to go over. All right, let's go down. Okay, so suppliers in the um, ports are warning of labor shortages in California. So up to 40% of all the goods that come into the port uh, might not be as regular uh, into stores anymore. So 40% of the goods in the United States come through the port of California and suppliers warn of labor shortages. So heads up for people um, out there that some of the goods may not be as quickly delivered because of what's happening in the port of California. All right. Also, NASA announced a 100-foot fissure crack opened up in Yellowstone. I tried finding as much information as I could about the crack opening up in Yellowstone, but there is not a lot of information other than a swarm of 147 earthquakes centered about 3 miles east-southeast of, of West Yellowstone, Montana, occurred between March 13th and 18th. The largest earthquake of 2.7 on March 13th. So I tried finding out as much information as I could about the possible crack happening in Yellowstone. Other than it had happened in um, 2018. Uh, a, uh, a crack 100 foot long uh, and at least 100 feet tall uh, result of a discovery of rangers in Yellowstone. So that happened and... I'll leave you guys these links uh, in the searches that I made, but I pretty much couldn't find that many articles that were dated for 2023. All right. Watchwoman65 shares awesome news. Um, she does awesome job sharing news. Let's take a look at some of these headlines. It says, the U.S. deployed guided missile submarine and tensions with Iran. Also, the U.S. is open to deploying troops to Taiwan. The latest uh, headline is China says its military is ready to fight now after drills near Taiwan. So, apparently, China declares its military is ready to fight. Let's take a look at some of this. Welcome. Back, China has declared its military ready to fight after completing three days of exercises around Taiwan after the Taiwanese president's meeting with Speaker McCarthy here in the U.S. Our Eunice Yoon is in Beijing with that story and with the U.S. response. Hi, Eunice. All right, guys. So I'm not going to go through the whole um, story and article with them, but Taiwan says, uh, I mean, excuse me, China says it's ready to fight now after it has conducted drills in Taiwan or around Taiwan. All right. Also, here's another uh, tweet that happened. NASA just announced a 100-foot white fissure. Cracks just opened up in Yellowstone Volcano in 24 hours. That's an older tweet, but I just wanted to bring it up again. All right. Also, almost 70 infections linked to recalled eye drops in 16 states, the CDC says. The bacterium Pseudomonas aeruginosa, which mutated, mutated over time to evade most treatments, has not been found in the U.S. until last year. The deadly bacteria linked to recalled eye drops causing infection and blindness has never been seen in the U.S. until 2022, according to the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention. It has since infected dozens of people and killed three people. So heads up, guys. I'll leave you the link to this article about 70 infections that um, happened with artificial tears or artificial eye drops. So please be careful when you're using eye drops. All right. 
Next, this is disgusting and I felt really upset when I heard this. Apparently, the Dalai Lama asked the boy to suck his tongue. The Dalai Lama regrets, regrets asking a boy to suck his tongue. Uh, this article says, it says the Dalai Lama has apologized after footage showed him asking the boy if he wanted to suck the Tibetan spiritual leader's tongue. His office said he wanted to apologize to the child and his family for the hurt his words may have caused. If this is true and this actually is what he does in public, you never know what he could be doing in private. So I was really angry when I heard um, that this is what he said. That just really made me upset. Alright, next. COVID caused brain damage in two babies infected during pregnancy. Study shows the newborns had seizures for the first day of life and both had severe developmental delays. One infant died at 13 months and the other was in hospice care. So COVID caused brain damage in two babies. It says researchers at the University of Miami reported on Thursday what they believe are the first two confirmed cases in which the SARS-CoV-2 virus crossed a mother's placenta and caused brain damage in the infants they were carrying. Doctors previously suspected this was possible, but until now there was no direct evidence of COVID-19 in a mother's placenta or an infant's brain, the team told reporters at the news briefing. The babies were born to young mothers who tested positive for the virus during the second trimester at the height of the pandemic's Delta wave in 2020 before vaccines were available. The case studies were published in the Journal of Pediatrics. I'll leave you guys a link so you guys can check that out as well. All right, next and last. The CDC asked doctors to look out for potential cases of deadly Ebola-like disease. The CDC sent out alerts to U.S. Uh, clinicians and public health departments about Marburg virus because of outbreaks in Equatorial Guinea and Tanzania. Apparently, doctors in the U.S. should be on the lookout for cases of Marburg virus, a rare but deadly infection the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention sent on Thursday. I put an alert on Thursday. Marburg belongs to the same family as Ebola. Both diseases are viral hemorrhagic fevers, conditions that can cause internal bleeding and damage multiple organ systems. The CDC's new health advisories sent to clinicians and public health departments came in response to recent Marburg outbreaks in Equatorial Guinea and Tanzania. Neither country has reported cases prior to this year. Tanzania's health ministry announced on um, uh, March 21st that a cluster of Marburg cases was confirmed to the northwest of Kagera region. As of Wednesday, the country has identified eight cases in connection to the outbreak, five of which were fatal. All of the cases appear to be linked. Equatorial Guinea, meanwhile, confirmed 14 Marburg cases between February 7th and April 5th. According to the CDC, 10 of these were fatal. All right, guys, so pray for everybody who's encountering all these diseases. Pray for the situation in China and Tibet, um, excuse me, not Tibet, Taiwan. Um, and please pray for everybody because we all need prayers. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Hit like and subscribe and see you guys next time. God bless.